particular welcome, a very special welcome to the Honourable Minister for Higher Education and Further Education, the Honourable Gail Gay Guys. So thank you for this opportunity. As you can imagine, the Minister's on a very tight time frame, so can only be here for a short while, but she wants to meet as many people as possible. Um, so why are we all here? Firstly, is to celebrate the Chinese Mid-Autumn Festival, and congratulations to all the people that were involved last night in that wonderful show at the Town Hall. Fantastic effort, and I know uh, some of you are here. <laughs> Secondly, we're here to recognise the, the great work done by the Stem Cell Foundation and all the supporters of that. And thirdly, we want to welcome as many uh, as we can of the NIT students that are down from Beijing studying here. Where are they all? <laughs> A very particular welcome to you as well. Um, now, first of all, I just want to briefly talk about Stem Cell Foundation. It's taken me a long time to understand what stem cell is all about. <laughs> uh, but it's the science, technology, engineering, mass, social enterprise, learning. I particularly, and we as a group, study Adelaide, and uh, where's Karen? Karen's the Hi. chief executive uh, of uh, Study Adelaide. But we particularly want to acknowledge tonight Pen Chu. Where's Peng? Peng, stand up, Peng. <laughs> Um, STEM Cell is all about linking technology with social enterprise uh, learning. It's giving the opportunity for the very bright young people, all of you that are in this room, from schools and universities to develop and innovate technology-based solutions to provide a better social and economically developed world. STEM Cell is about offering internships, mentoring young students, in electronics and robotics through workshops and where's Miro? Oh, here he is, doing his job. Uh, and what a great support Miro is. STEM Cell gives students the ideal environment to increase their confidence, and I've seen that with a lot of you here tonight. Increase your networks, increase your business communications, and increase your employability skills. What STEM Cell does it gives you the opportunity to change the world. And Peng is just an absolutely committed person to be involved with this. It was his initiation, and what a wonderful chap Peng you are to do this. <laughs> Everybody so through uh, Peng's program, you've got students, both local and international, you got them from primary schools and secondary schools and universities. You've got people involved in STEM cells from Australia and Malaysia and Vietnam and Indonesia and India, Uganda, Costa Rica, Afghanistan. And they're all working together, integrating with the local community and connecting many of the families. And I've met quite a few of the families <laughs> as well, and I think that's great that they're involved and wider community groups. As Peng said, he gets great support for this from all of you in the room. And people like Miro and Kevin up there, up there, and Jeff Farm, I can see with Jeff over here doing photo photographs as normal. Uh, I've got to mention George Chin. George is on the Study Adelaide board, absolute committed person to promoting the link with particularly students in the community. And in his role as president of uh, Chinatown as well. Um, Graham Brand, where's Graham over here from the Royal Agricultural and Horticultural Society? And uh, Barry Greer over here. Barry uh, was a former boss of mine uh, many years ago. <laughs> but Barry uh, has been, and quite recently, was the world president of the Institute of Engineers. And you can't do any better than that, Barry. So. And, uh, Fernando. Where's Fernando? <laughs> Up the back there from the, uh, from the RAAF. Um, and, you know, great supporters in the community like Claudia over here. And uh, 
never likes to be recognised, but is always <laughs> working very hard. Uh, I could go on and on with the great support, uh, but there's one other lady sits right there on table four, uh, <laughs> should be on table one, of course, is Lena, who uh, nothing would happen without Lena. Yes. Which is Peng's wife. So, uh, <laughs> but could I say, uh, yeah. <laughs> could I say to Peng and all of you, congratulations on what you're doing, and particularly uh, what you're doing with technology and uh, with social learning and improving the, our world, uh, not only here but across the rest of the world, and so many connections. Um, I saw someone had a book. Where's that book? <laughs> I, no, I'll just, I'll just mention. Uh, for people that want a great read, uh, this lady, some of you have met, she was here at the show as a judge. Um, uh, Kandu is her name. Um, and she's uh, from Zambia, originally. I think I've got that right. But um, um, Karen and I had the privilege of meeting her. Uh, she lives in Victoria now. But I went home, and I'm not a great reader of books, but I read it that night, and I was absolutely inspired by it. So uh, try to get a copy of this book. It's just great reading about how individuals, like each and every one of you, can change the world. Yeah. Now my absolute pleasure to ask the Minister to, uh, to say a few words. And thank you all so much for your very generous invitation to join you here this evening. Unfortunately, um, I'm not able to stay for very long. It's a parliamentary sitting week this week, uh, so it's, um, I'm very busy. I'm back to back appointments, but um, I, I do very much appreciate the opportunity to at least uh, meet with you here briefly uh, and the opportunity to address you. Um, and um, uh, particularly to celebrate this wonderful occasion, the Chinese Mid-Autumn Festival. Uh, so, uh, is there a particular greeting or a particular... Now, what does it begin? Thank you. Um, I um, just wanted to, to particularly welcome uh, our international students. Um, you are very important uh, here in South Australia. We very much value uh, your presence here and your activity here. Uh, uh, particularly, it's a very, uh, inter our international students' market is a very, very strong economic driver for this state, which obviously we value very much. But also from a, so a social and cultural level, um, you, you bring an enormous uh, amount of cultural and social diversity uh, and uh, I think uh, particularly our, the international student population here in, in Adelaide has uh, transformed Adelaide as a city into a vibrant, dynamic, multicultural place to be uh, and, and uh, your presence and activity here uh, helps bring life, breathe life into our city. So. Um, uh, I, we thank, I thank you very much uh, for that. The, I also want to thank the, uh, those business and other community members that are, are joining us here this evening. Uh, we really value your uh, partnership uh, and uh, our relationship with you. Uh, I think international students choose to come to South Australia for a number of reasons. One is the quality of the ed education that we provide here. Um, but uh, also the quality of the uh, life experience or the community uh, engagement uh, is also really important and uh, you help um, uh, create that. Thirdly, and, and very importantly, it's that value adding. Students now want uh, not just uh, to leave with a qualification, they want to have an opportunity to engage with and develop networks into our, our business and industry uh, networks. So that relationship uh, with, with business and industry is critical for helping um, uh, our international students fulfil uh, that part um, of their um, journey here. 
or their preference for, for uh, choosing Adelaide. Um, so we've, we value that very much. And on behalf of the South Australian Government, I want to particularly acknowledge the um, incredibly valuable work that STEM Cell uh, provides uh, here in South Australia. Um, it, the, the work that it does to help integrate international students into our local community and into our business and industry networks is invaluable. Uh, and your, your passion and commitment and drive uh, in that area is, is of tremendous value to us, so I wanted to recognise that. I also particularly want to recognise and acknowledge the great work that Education Adelaide... Do we still call it Education Adelaide? Yeah. <laughs> I keep changing the name on <laughs> So some people, uh, I think most people in the room would know us as Study Adelaide. Study, study yes. Adelaide. That their work uh, to attract... Uh, more international students uh, to South Australia is incredibly valuable to us as well. And of course, you can help us in that mission to attract more students here um, by, uh, by sharing your positive experiences through your social and other networks uh, and encouraging um, others uh, to, to come and um, uh, enjoy uh, uh, and, and experience a studying experience here in Adelaide. So I encourage you to to, uh, to uh, get online and uh, uh, and share that uh, with your friends and family. The um, uh, the I'm, I'm off to China again very soon. I think it'll be about my fourth visit there in a fairly short period of time. Um, uh, and I know that we've, we've got uh, students here that aren't just from China, but Ch the Chinese. Um, uh, our relationship uh, and, and partnership with China is uh, very important to us. I'll be uh, visiting um, Qingdao, uh, particularly to launch a new program there that is about uh, engaging uh, more students from that region uh, to come and visit and study here. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And I'm hoping also to, to do a quick trip to Beijing and to, um, if I can, uh, uh, visit NIT. So, uh, <laughs> it's in the itinerary, we're trying to make sure that it happens, but that's not confirmed yet. But it's something that I really value and, and am working very hard uh, to achieve. So, I'm very much looking forward uh, to visiting NIT, hopefully. Um, uh, I think we've got some very important awards to give out, which I'm, um, I believe I've. I've um, yes. <laughs> no, you're going to uh, to present them. So oh, oh, I yeah. uh, 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 the way. Uh, um, and just to uh, just to, to conclude, I hope you very much enjoy um, your your studies here in Adelaide, and I hope that your studies are successful and that you have a lot of fun as well. And uh, I'm please enjoy the rest of this evening. Oh, thank you. Um, we would like to ask her to present some very special awards tonight. Uh, they're called the Study Adelaide Student Engagement Awards, uh, and it's to some very outstanding young individuals who are all about making this world a better place by connecting people across the world who can really make a difference. So we'd like to start by presenting just a selected few. Uh, there's others that are doing great jobs as well. But on this particular night, a, a selective few, so... Just push this chair in so we've got more room to hand out the awards. Yeah, I, am, I haven't actually got... I, I think I know who they all are. <laughs> I, but the first person is Calvin. Where's Calvin? Calvin. 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 Calvin.
next person is Hugh. has um, just been awarded a scholarship to uh, study and promote in Hong Kong uh, under the federal government's new initiative, so uh, that's great news as well. Um, and Oh no, that was my fault. I changed the order. Stick to the list. Now, yeah, here, here's. Here we go. Have you have you had? No, we're right now. Sorry. And uh, next one is Bez. Smile. <laughs> and uh, George and uh, Peng and uh, uh, quite a few of the students had the good fortune to meeting Peng's uh, family quite recently and uh, had a wonderful meal. Uh, up there, so in Hong Does someone know how to tell Peng how to do <laughs> So, uh, now the next person, I only know this person as, is, as, as Angel, so... Uh, <laughs> Imagine angels going on to study marketing or public relations. Or <laughs> and and uh, the very last one uh, is a young dynamo, Casey. <laughs> Can we uh, thank uh, everyone, and particularly thank the Minister for uh, being able to come here uh, tonight, and uh, I know it's a very hectic time, particularly with Parliament sitting, so uh, uh, I think there's a presentation for you. <laughs> oh, it's, I was having a look at the book and I haven't read it. That's wonderful. That's lovely. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Also, we have a Chinese Oh, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, uh, again, thank you all, and could we again thank the Minister for coming here?